Hey everybody, um, getting into a lot of just projects around here where I'm using the impact, you know, for my different screws and everything, and I noticed a lot of these projects that I'm getting into, you know, as far as um, remodeling here at home or building stuff, um, you know, when you're when I'm working with wood, that um, the old stuff that I'm taking apart has Phillips head screws in it, and the new ones have the uh, Torx head. I don't know if that'll focus there or not, but uh, it, it's the T25 Torx head. Uses the uh, the Torx bit for in there. There we go. You can see it's the, the, the star, as a lot of people call it. But anyway, um, years ago I had bought a set of impact bits, Milwaukee. And um, when I was working on some of this stuff here recently, I'm swapping back and forth between the Phillips bit and the T25 and swapping back and forth. Then I'm like, why am I so stupid? I found that this was in the set of bits. This has the T25 Torx head on one side, and it's got the Phillips on the other. And you can see that it has the, the radius here around both of these heads, and that's how you know that you can reverse it. So you can use it to take the Phillips head screws out, flip it around your impact, and use the uh, T25 part to run your new screws in. Saves a lot of time and hassle. Because when you're up on a ladder and you're like, oh great, now I ran into a screw I gotta take out that has a Phillips head, and you can just swap that baby around. No more having one in the gun and one clipped down there somewhere on the bottom. Um, no more carrying a, a spare Phillips head bit in your pocket in case you run into another one you gotta take out somewhere. Everything with one bit. Problem is, that I've put a lot of miles on this thing and the Torx head part is getting really worn down as you can see it's all shiny there because I've, I've put a lot of screws in here recently and um, I've been out shopping around local hardware stores the big box stores looking for more of these and I thought you know I gotta be able to just buy a simple set they gotta have them in there right because the, uh, the original set that I got was a pretty uh, pretty simple one no luck. I ended up, I found this set right here. It came like this. It was all these together. It was a 74 piece shockwave set. Found this at the local Amish hardware store. And um, the way you can tell when you're looking at these, like this, this has that white label, has that white label down here. So you can't see the bottom of these when they're in there. What you gotta look for though is just look for that radius. If if it has that that radius on there, then you know that it's going to be one that can be flipped around. So this new set that I bought, I had to buy the whole thing just to get another one of these. It has this bit in there, the Phillips and the T25. It has the uh, the one with the straight and uh, the Phillips head on the other side, like this, which came in the original kit that I bought that had this one in it. And then it's got one with the uh, the square head and a Phillips head, which is good for anybody working on a deck because a lot of these new deck screws, uh, they're that way. They have the, the square head in them. So that's a handy one for people to have. And then you got a double-sided Torx. you got T25 on one side and T20 on the other. And let me tell you, like I said, those are a time saver. You know, you don't have to fumble around and, you know, dig through your pocket to find another one of these small bits or something. Uh, you got everything right there, and you just keep flipping it around. It's great. But I I checked out sets from DeWalt, Milwaukee, um, Bosch, Makita, Ryobi, and some other no-name ones and stuff everywhere I went. And like, this set here, I had to buy it. It was a bigger set. Didn't really need all these bits. Just really wanted this one. But to get this one, to replace it, I had to buy this whole thing. Because most of the Milwaukee ones don't have the, the double-sided bits in them anymore. I even saw a Milwaukee rep at Home Depot. And I was like, hey, this is what I'm looking for. Why don't you guys have this in more kits? Because this is a lifesaver. And he's like, oh yeah, we made them years ago. We've kind of gone away from them. Uh. You ought to have just a whole five-pack of these that you can buy. You know, you got a five-pack of just the Torx bit just a Phillips head or whatever, have a five pack of these. If you're listening to Milwaukee or anybody else out there that makes these Torx bits uh, or, or impact bits, you know, have a five pack of these. T25 on one side, Phillips on the other. 
uh, Phillips on one side, the square drive on the other. This is what we want. You know, we want to be more efficient. We want to save time. And that's a great way to do it. So, uh, if you're one of those guys like me getting stuck with all these projects where you got all these Phillips head screws to take out, and then you got the new style to put in there with the, the Torx head, search out one of these things. Maybe you can find them on eBay or something. I don't know. The places that I go to where they sell these individually, the local Amish hardware store uh, has boxes and boxes of individual bits. They do not have any of these. It's almost like they're buying the kits, keeping these, and putting everything else back here for sale individually because they probably use these too. You know, who wouldn't? So, just something I want to pass on to everybody. Um, that's going to do it for this video here. As always, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.